Hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar. Uh, I'll be talking about the intra logistics assessment tool. Are you looking for a solution to transport a product from one location to another within your factory or warehouse? and you don't know where to start, or you are a little bit confused, then you're, you have come to the right place. Identifying the intralogistics paradigm that would best fit your needs uh, can be difficult. And the reason for that is that there are a bunch of factors that are involved in the decision-making process. The difficulty on one hand could be caused because of a number of constraints related to the product and the environment within which that the product is traveling. For example, space availability, type of obstacles in the way, volume or speed requirement from the product, reconfigurability needs from the system. And on the other hand, a spectrum of possibilities uh, makes uh, the decision making process a bit more challenging. For example, technologies like sensor and perception systems, human robot interaction, agility and mobility performance, autonomous navigation, and many more. In order to make this decision making process a little bit more much, a little bit more smoother and easier, IMR in collaboration with its industrial partners has developed this tool called the Intra Logistics uh, Assessment Tool. And the bigger goal for this uh, tool is to uh, in, to empower you and arm you in your conversations with the system integrators by uh, doing two things. So this tool will enable you to quickly and easily identify what are the best suited and least suited intra logistics paradigms for your transport process based on your set of constraints. And secondly, it will provide you guidance on the factors that influence the cost of implementing a solution for different paradigms. Uh, these are the seven different paradigms that are considered in this tool. Most of them you might already be familiar with. The two that are usually mixed up with each other and have uh, different terminologies used all over uh, the world and, and have different definitions are AGVs and AMRs. The automated guided vehicles usually follow a path along a fixed route um, usually along magnetic strips or rails, et cetera, while AMRs are much more evolved versions of the AGVs and they don't require fixed paths for their navigation and are much more flexible and adaptable to the changing environment. So now I'll give you a quick demo of how to use the tool. So we'll go to the website and first, it will ask you to create an account and sign in. Uh, I've already created my account, so I'll just uh, agree and sign in. So after uh, going to the registration, you'll um, answer a bunch of questions related to the, your industry, your company size, and the country you're in. And then you'll hit start. So these are the seven criteria that are uh, used in this tool and the recommendations are made, made based on those uh, criteria. And there will be questions asked related to these uh, seven criteria. Before you start answering the questions, I would recommend you uh, look and read through the instructions that are given here and familiarize yourself with the terminologies used throughout the questionnaire. Like for example, what's the total load? Uh, what's a transport task, uh, how to answer the questions, and uh, what you get in the end as a result. Also, the reports, reports that you can download in the end of the assessment as well. So for the demo purpose, I'll create a hypothetical scenario where, let's say, I have a factory, and in that factory, I have different stations where different products are being uh, made or delivered and I want those products to be transported from station one, let's say, to another station. And let's say that I don't have any transport task at the moment. So I'll select uh, no, tra no task implemented yet. Um, then next I will select, 
let's say free path because um, I don't have any doors or stairs in, in my hypothetical scenario. And then my environment, let's say, is fit for human presence. So I'll select fit for human presence and then click next. And the ceiling height for me, let's say, is greater than three meters. Uh, the transport frequency that I want from the system is, uh, let's say, 20 transports per hour. Either you can choose from the scale here, or you can also input your value here if you, if you want. So let's say 20. And you'll see the graph updating here as well as you answer these questions. So for distance, um, I want the drop-off point from my collection point to be about 20 meters. So I'll select that. And my payload size is about five kg. So I'll just input it here. And my path width, uh, let's say it's between two and five meters. And let's say that I have a lot of dynamic obstacles in the way, a lot of human traffic as well. So uh, we'll select a zone of high constant traffic. Uh, for the reconfigurability, I, I don't need uh, it on a daily basis. So I'll select um, path will change a few times a year. And for accuracy, let's say I need five millimeters of accuracy uh, for the drop off. And that's it. That's uh, how easy it is to answer the questions. If you want to edit your answers, you can go back and edit them, or you can generate a report for this. Uh, after you have finished answering the questions, you will see the updated graph here uh, with the scores. Uh, and then you see from the, the highest rated ones are the AMRs and the AGVs, and the lowest rated ones are manuals and covers. And on here, you will get more information on the uh, best recommended and the least recommended paradigms here. And here then is um, a brief snapshot, snapshot of the factors that affect uh, the cost uh, related to labor, power, uh, maintenance, et cetera, for each of these different paradigms, for example, manual, conveyors, AMRs. Uh, in the report, you will get a more detailed version of this uh, cost uh, factor uh, relationship. And I highly recommend you read that report. And then next, you can download the report here and just click and download. After that, if you have any questions regarding this tool or um, any other feedback related to this, you can use this link to send your questions. And then you can rate your experience uh, by filling out this questionnaire. And uh, let's have a look at the report that was downloaded. So first you'll have the result from your assessment here, uh, where it, where it shows here uh, the histogram for, for your result. And then if you scroll down, you'll get more insights on the recommended paradigms and the unadvised paradigms. And after that, there's a guide on how to uh, read the uh, influence of different factors on, in terms of uh, cost for different paradigms. Here is a more detailed version of the table for the factors affecting the cost for each of these paradigms. And if you want to go even more in detail of each of these solutions for these paradigms and how they affect different costs. You can scroll down and uh, pick whichever one you are interested in, and you can read more on that. And that's, that's the report. Okay. So you can go to this link uh, if you want to use this tool. It's available for free for anyone to use. Uh, please use it and give us feedback. And what you think about it, what would you improve? And that, that would be very appreciated. 
or you can also find this tool on IMR's website in the tool section. And if you want to get in touch with the team, you can send us an email at robotics at imr.ie. And thank you very much. Thank you.